Disguise your hair. There will be repeat visitors today from the Luna fan community, and you never know what they might accomplish. I've got some great material planned for today's discussion. So, if you want more, subscribe, like, and share, and leave some feedback. Let's take a look at what we have so far. The balcony or patio with support at $1.88. The Luna price freefall stops, the floating stops, and the bullish signals begin to activate, sending the price of Luna up to $3. At $2, which represents massive resistance along a falling railway line, traders should think about taking profits. Price cuts haven't made anything worse. The August high of 2,621 was broken by a two-week losing streak. This turnaround may indicate the return of retail investors as hopes rise that the market is about to experience a bullish impulse aimed at the $3 level. Because Luna price has recently bounced off of 1.88, it appears that the odds are shifting in its favor. The bulls have a difficult road ahead of them in validating a break over the 50-day simple moving average. Furthermore, a $2 4 hour to Delhi close above this resistance will encourage the buyers to cast aside their qualms and go on board for gains in the $3 zone. Since they both seem to peak in strength during the same 4 hour period, this suggests that the bears are tough and would require further persecution before Luna's price could firmly establish an upward trend. Therefore, traders need to keep a close eye on every size movement in the near future in case it stages a rebound above the midline and forms a bullish divergence with buyers of the price. As for the security recovery, the tug of battle is ended. Investors could consider buying on the three-hour chart below this call to action because the TD signal sequential indicator has given a buy signal, further supporting the new uptrend. A lunar manifestation in the form of a red nine candlestick suggests that the current slump is beginning to wane, paving the door for a possible uptrend. For this reason, placing a buy order on the low of the sixth and seventh candles on the same day is typically advised, and the low of the eighth and ninth candles on the same day should be used to exceed the account. Traders would do well to take profits at $2, as the lunar price has not broken above the falling trend line on the four-hour chart since early August and the parabolic cases are indicator on the three-hour chart may prevent a strong rebound unless it flips below the Luna price. This might rise to a 180 and a 160 in sequential order if purchasers lose control of the anticipated advance. That's it, and for a truly horrible classic. Don't forget to come and visit X1 and his, and don't forget to subscribe and share for more content.